So, swap positions. A bit of training, eating a bit of food, got a few privates. What's going on there? Uh, obviously first, we come here, here, push the head, bring it here, so it gets tight, so you feel the pressure there, go. Step over here, and come back, and then I'm going to go. Okay. Uh, run for a few hours. First private of the day done, now it's time for lunch. You got anything for us? So we're working on Lara's lapel guard. 
which is uh, it's pretty good at the moment, but she's struggling with attacks. So we're going through some. Uh, she was showing me the attacks she likes, and we're just trying to break down a better position to run those attacks from. Really, a lot of what she's doing is right, but she's finding she's stuck there. But being a smaller person in the gym is always harder. So we're just running through them, battle test them, make sure she can get there, use them, and finish in a dominant position. So that's pretty much what's going on. Trying to do stuff to beat you, really. Good. That is one. Good. Go on. Yeah, go on, take it. Mount, mount, mount. I'll tell you what, I did both of our jiu jitsu for you. Yep. <laughs> Feeling big? Always big, mate. What do you mean? Feeling big. What are you doing here today? Looking. Because I guess I'm in game. Showing how to, him to how to defend it, mate. Are oh, you giving Dave a private? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Push here, push the foot down, come back to the knee and pull. Even if he's going here, here, there again. If I start pulling down here, you can often pull it further enough to get up and over here. I don't need to hit the floor with this. All I need to do is literally get to the other side of his leg here and chop in. Once I chop in here, uh, it's pretty much over. I can go nice and tight, create uh, this shelf with my knee, making sure his legs are up nice and tight. Underhook, start to turn in. Make sure I stay really tight on my legs, feet from under his foot, swap, and into the mouth position. Okay guys, let's get used to that and then we'll attack the arm as well. Let's have a go. Your job is to submit them, so we'll stop with the submission, or if you get to mount on the back, if you take mount on the back, hold that position for 30 seconds, that's a good to you guys. If you're on the bottom, obviously your aim is to get to a guard, or just generally get out of there to a standing position or a top position, or any form of like half guard. Okay guys, let's have a go. Gonna be to try and 
try and get my like right hand to left arm, left hand to right arm. I want to get like a cross grip in this position. I want to get cross grip and my aim is going to be to pull one across the body. So it doesn't have to be this position. It could be anywhere. It could just be sat here. I'm going to go across here. I'm going to look to get a grip. I'm going to look to pull this across my body. So my, if it's on this arm, right hand's coming to the wrist. Left hand's going to come to the, uh, behind the elbow. I'm going to look to pull this across my body. As I pull this across, I'm going to want to swap to this grip here. So this grip should be facing away. Obviously, if I want to pull this across here, this grip is much better than the alternative of here. So just make sure, as, as I'm pulling this grip across my body, I'm switching and this grip is facing this direction. Try not to uh, do the alternative of like coming here. And this is, this is no good. If he starts pulling back, it's, it's pulling against my wrist. It's just not ideal. So I'm going hand on the wrist, hand on the elbow. I'm coming across. I'm pulling it, the arm over, <coughs> obviously. When he's resisting, you're probably only going to make a little bit of room. Second, I've pulled this arm up across my centre line. I'm going to look to reach up, start grabbing the lat and coming up onto my elbow. Once I've latched this position, my body is now going to start blocking his arm. So I'm going to stay nice and tight with my torso behind, um, on his shoulder behind his arm here. I'm going to open my guard. I can base my left foot on the floor and bring my right knee in between his legs here. So when I looked at again this position, obviously, uh, when he's resisting, it's going to look a little bit different. So I'm here, here, I'm going to pull in across the body, punch across, reach up with my left hand now, I'm reaching for his lat here. At the same time, open up my legs, basing this foot on the floor, coming up nice and high. Right knee is going to circle into the centre, and we're just going to get to this position for now. So there's, we're going to look at a lot of different things from this position. Like chop down with the shin, I'm going to roll through, start to lift with this leg. If, if you do this a nice fast motion, you probably don't need this. If you get kind of stuck in this position, you can still finish the armbar here. Or if you want to get back to like a, a, a normal armbar position, I can reach, grab the leg, pull the leg up and around in like a circular motion, come through, leg over the top, nice tight armbar position there. This time, I'm going to look to dig my leg in, in front of here. So instead of going knee across the back of his head, I'm circling my foot into this gap here as I'm coming over the top. So this time what's going to push his head down is as I get underneath here, I start to straighten the leg and it's going to be like the side of my leg pushing down on his upper body, uh, on, on the back of his head as I roll through. So I'm going to roll through to this position, this time I'm going to land here. Second I land in this position, I want to push my leg across. I need to keep his arm up, so I'm going to keep one arm on his, on his, uh, on his arm. I can reach down, grab my own shin, pull across for the triangle here. Second, I've latched this triangle. One, keep this foot flexed, so making sure that this isn't slipping off the end. Keep this foot flexed, circle back and circle my foot underneath his back. It's, it's a super tight triangle in this position. People have got nice long legs and nice and flexible, you'll be able to lock this up, no worries. So just keep both hands on here. If you're struggling a bit here, I can go foot on the hip here. Foot on the hip, reach forward, pull this towards me, latch on and then bury the top of this foot right underneath his spine and it's going to come on nice and tight. If you pull up, lock the triangle, send this back, nice tight squeeze, you get the tap. Uh, switch to the triangle here, get the tap of the triangle. If you can't get the triangle for whatever reason, I can come up here and tap the arm instead. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> oh,